guys, it's Madison. Um, <laughs> right now I am actually just uh, finishing up my run. As you can see, I have my shoes off because I have some blisters because I am breaking in some new shoes. And I finished about four miles, a little over. And uh, for an avid runner, I understand that's basically a warm up, but for me, uh, whose consistency in running hasn't been <laughs> very consistent lately, uh, it was pretty good. Anyways, I'm uh, in between work right now, so I thought it would be a perfect day to go outside and get some exercise and trying to get as much outdoor nature time as possible, and so that's why <laughs> I'm deciding to walk barefoot. So, but anyways, Friday, a couple days ago, was the lunar eclipse. And uh, I'm bringing this up because I wanna talk about a particular phenomenon that's been happening uh, for me about for, uh, I'd say, the last seven or eight months. And it started back at the end of 2017. And uh, I, this phenomenon was, uh, me uh, catching uh, myself all of a sudden really aware of my chest or my heartbeat. And uh, what I would feel is like this extreme expansion. And to me, what it ended up feeling like was that my heart palpitations were super strong um, or my heart was beating really fast. And I was like, oh my God, like what is going on? And it would just be at the most random times, like sitting down in a chair, um, at work, uh, you know, just walking around, driving. And uh, it, it was a very interesting thing because it just seemed to come out of nowhere. And um, so there would be spurts about, I'd say, you know, for at least a few days, it would it would be like at least seven or eight times during the day I would catch this um, happening within myself or have this feeling these extreme heart palpitations or or huge like expansion just super aware of my um, chest the center of my chest uh, and then all of a sudden it wouldn't really happen or I wouldn't notice or it would go away for, you know, a, a couple of weeks and then all of a sudden reappear out of nowhere. And so, as I said, this has been happening over the span of uh, seven or eight months. And, uh, you know, sometimes when I actually put my awareness toward it and um, put an intention to try and manipulate the intensity of it, I can see that it I do have an effect my intention um, putting my consciousness toward this this experience actually manipulates it I can increase the intensity or I wouldn't say I can decrease it um, because it's not like a feeling that feels bad or anything but definitely an expansion uh, so I wanted to bring this up because um, Friday was the Friday evening was the lunar eclipse. Um, and even though in the US you couldn't see it, I mean, the it's still happening. And the energies, the electromagnetic fluxes, um, uh, still affect the entire planet, regardless if you can see it or not. And uh, I am a huge um, fan of taking data points for ascension symptoms. Uh, it's funny because I was asking a bunch of people from my uh, meetup group last night, my spirituality meetup group, um, how their sleeping, uh, their sleeping schedules or habits have been going, if they've noticed any changes or if they've been feeling more tired or less tired lately. But anyways, um, on Friday, I started noticing like this same expansion feeling happening within my chest and of course like I, I'm well aware of the chakra system and um, the heart uh, the heart energy center which is in the middle of the chest not in your heart but you know to the you would call it to the right of your heart um, right in the middle in the midline and so all day Friday it was just like boom 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 uh, and uh, I would just catch myself all day just noticing it and to me 
you know, after exploring and, and doing some research about this and um, hearing about other people's experiences, what I've come to learn is that um, it's a heart chakra activation or opening, um, a rapid um, or an exponential increase in activation. So <laughs> all day Friday, it was just, I was just noticing, catching myself just super aware of my, my chest center, feeling its ex expansion. And so I was choosing to breathe into that and take the time to really, uh, if it was catching my attention, just to bring awareness to it and give myself the time and space to allow the energy to move in the way it wanted to move. And so this phenomenon has been happening ever since uh, Friday, I felt it really strong um, on Friday. And then uh, yesterday, I felt it uh, Saturday. And then today, um, all morning, I've been feeling it. And it's just been, you know, at the most random times, it's not brought on by physical exertion or uh, anything of the physical nature, but definitely I can feel, um, that that experience um, that feeling resonate or increase more when uh, I bring my attention to things that are about unity and um, you know higher higher vibe things such as love of course and so I am starting to you know put the pieces together and have individual experiences of course of you know, going through this ascension process and, and feeling physical effects uh, from the energetic upgrades and the downloads that we are receiving from the celestial bodies, as well as the beings that are aiding us, um, you know, during our sleep time and also while we are awake there. And, and this includes our spirit guides, um, our main guides and the guides that, you know, or take more of the background and some of the guides that come for specific purposes, depending on what your activities are here in the physical realm. So if you are having, you know, weird sensations and brought on by, you know, nothing logical um, or seem to just, you know, be popping up out of nowhere, I encourage you to first off, not freak out because there's a lot of energy influx going on right now, even the after effects of these, um, you know, celestial events, such as eclipses or full moons or new moons and blood moons and all that good stuff. But, but also to give yourself the time to step into the awareness of what's going on within you. This is really important because your body is going to be the slowest one to make adjustments to you know this shift we are shifting into our light body and we're getting these upgrades so the things that are more on the etheric uh realm um are going to be able to uh to transform and transcend a lot quicker uh because they're a lot more malleable because um they're not as dense in, as our physical body like in this physical realm so giving yourself the time if you are feeling like you you really are tired and you just need to sleep if you can give yourself the time to take naps throughout the day um, if you are feeling super irritable um, and just feeling drain energetically drained from being around a lot of people give yourself the time to go and be by yourself maybe that's just taking a lunch to yourself or you know sitting in the bathroom for 15 minutes and bringing awareness to your breathing uh, and ultimately, I think, you know, as these energetic uh, flexes um, increase and they build momentum, it's going to be more and more important for you to keep grounding yourself in your physical body and to this planet. So taking as much time as you can to spend time outdoors, to bring your awareness to your breath and do body scans. Start with your feet, see how you're, you are feeling from your toes to your, you know, the soles to your heels, up your shins and to your knees, thighs, go into your hips and, and go all the way up to the top of your head and just doing these body scans is actually going to put your consciousness fully 
in to your physical body and so when you do come across something that's not feeling so great you can say okay I'm noticing you know something may be a little off here and from this awareness you can actually take the necessary steps to support yourself through this these energetic shifts so being kind to yourself um, when you are feeling out of place for no logical reason or not feeling as great um, is the best thing you can do for yourself because ultimately you you are getting support from other beings but here's the thing they're not going to be able to be here to save us um, and they're not going to do the work for you you have to be willing to take responsibility for your own physical body and your own experience here because what we are here to do on this planet is to step into our own power and and remember how we are creators of these experiences that we're having and that includes everything that we're experiencing during this energetic shift this vibrational shift into the fifth dimension so anyways I just wanted to share my own personal experience with some of the sensations and, and feelings I've been having as of late over the last couple of days. And of course, I'm always willing to be sharing, uh, I'm always willing to share with you uh, any future experiences that I have because ultimately what I want to create is a platform for people to feel like they can talk about these things and realize that you're not alone, that no, none of us are alone, and we ultimately are all in this ascension process together. So until next time, thank you so much for watching, and I love you.